So as you probably already know, I'm in the process of changing a couple of pieces of gear, selling some, buying new ones, and I wanna show you the plans that I have for the mastering side of things. I have sold the Master Bus processor actually to a subscriber. Hi Mike, I hope you enjoyed the, the Master Bus processor. I have sold the limiter. Now let me run you through the new mastering chain that I plan building. I have a picture right here. I will have the full picture on the, the video. Let's talk about conversion. That's the first thing in the chain. I'm using a B16 with a BDA4M from Burl Audio. That's the D2A converter. That's what I use to feed the mastering chain and also what I use to power the speakers. First piece that I will probably have sometimes in March is the Vertigo Sound VSM2 mix satellite. This is a piece that I always wanted right from the start, but I wasn't too keen into spending that type of money until I realized that the VSM2 is not just a saturation box. It's also, let's call it a mix mastering console. You have two different inserts. You can use the inserts in mid side. You can use the inserts in parallel. You also have control over the stereo width. So it's something that for me fills two spots, a mastering console and a saturation tone shaping box. Next up is an Elysia Music Q. This is going to be the clean EQ, the EQ that I'll be using for mastering, mixing, stem processing. I wanted something transparent, clean, with lots of headroom, something that I can use on everything. Music Q fits the bill amazingly. This is going to be with me probably sometimes next week. 3EQ in the chain is going to be the Massive Passive. I want to keep that one because it has a bit more character. It's more on the sweet sounding EQs. I really believe that the combo between Music Q and Massive Passive is going to be fantastic. Next in the chain is an Impressor. Elysia does some gear that I overlooked, totally overlooked. When I got into buying analog gear, uh, I wanted some really nice pieces that had character. Uh, but now I want clean stuff. Gear that is versatile. I want gear that can do multiple things because rack space is limited. And also I don't want to put myself into a corner by using really colorful gear. Transparent is my new name. I started researching the Elysia stuff and they do all sorts of um, amazing gear from compressor to transient designers. I want to try out the envelope from them in stem processing and even in a mastering scenario. Because I am dealing a lot with mp3 beats with mixing tracks that I don't have access to the track out. Sometimes I need some sort of transient processing. For example, the snare is too loud. For example, the hi-hat is too bright or too percussive and I need to tame that. Envelope from uh, Elysia, the transient shaper is capable of doing just that. It has multiband uh, transient shaping capabilities and I'm really into trying it. I will probably order one uh, soon. And last in the chain, as for now, is the Dangerous AD+. That's what I'm gonna use to capture this chain. The plan is to add a couple of more pieces that I haven't decided upon yet. I'll probably build another vocal chain separated from this mastering chain, but that means that I will need more converters. Since I have the B16, I have an empty slot and I can add a new DA converter there. I was thinking about adding the monitor controller so I can switch 
that to the speakers and use the one I have now to feed both the mastering chain plus the vocal chain. I'm also thinking about adding a character compressor. I haven't decided yet. I am looking at compressors like the Varimu from uh, Manly. I'm looking at compressors like the Phoenix from uh, Termioni Culture, the mastering version, or even something like the Monster 2 from uh, Loop Trotter. All the gear will be connected to the VSM. So the two EQs will be one after the other into insert two on the VSM and uh, the impressor and envelope when I will have them will be connected into insert number one. In that way I can just easily process them and do the mastering session. For me, this was a really long journey, but I feel that I am really onto something. The Elisa stuff, like I've said, I overlooked because I wasn't really into transparent uh, things, but you have to consider that on the market, there aren't that many great hardware pieces that are aimed towards modern music. A lot of the great stuff is aimed at music from the past. A lot of the compressors are based on designs from the past. That's not really a bad thing, but my head is clear now. I'm doing modern music and I have to focus in building a modern chain for vocals and for mastering and stem processing. Really excited about it and I will take you with me on this journey. When I get a new piece, I will showcase it. I will let you know how it goes. Can't wait to get the VSM2. That's the, the piece that I'm really excited about. I will probably have a comparison between all the pieces that I'm getting and their plugin counterpart because the Elisa stuff already has plugins. So I will probably do a comparison. Mastering chain done. Just waiting to get everything. <sighs> Soon. Soon. Soon.